So some people said that they wanted to see how we made our wallpaper aesthetic, so I'll walk you through that. So first go to canva.com um, and then go ahead and search desktop wallpaper and that should give you the right dimensions. And you'll see that there's a bunch of different backgrounds here, but we're going to go to create a blank desktop wallpaper. Um, and then for the background, I just went ahead and gone into photos and searched stuff like plant pictures. And I went and found one that I liked. So let's go with this one. And then I just stretched it to fit the entire canvas. Um, and then I actually wanted the plant to be a little bit lower. So I went ahead and resized that so I could drag it a little bit lower. Great, um, and then we'll go into elements. And then um, I wanted a rounded square. So we, I went into shapes and got like the one with the rounded corners. And I brought that over to the top and color so it would fit um, the widget that I wanted it to be. And then I went ahead and resized it and then I copied and pasted it. because I want multiple widgets, and so I resized that to fit under. And I just wanted to make even spacing, and I wanted to put enough space at the bottom for the dock and enough at the top for the toolbar. Um, I adjusted the transparency to 80% just so that it kind of all looks cohesive. And you can see a little bit behind it. And then I wanted my widgets to be different colors. Um, so right now I'm just building widgets. I'm just copying and pasting. Um, you'll see that the grid lines like show me where these widgets are, where I'm placing them um, in relative position to the other ones. I'm just going ahead and resizing them. And then you'll see that I can choose different colors based on the photo that I imported. Um, so I chose a green color that um, Canva extracted from the plant picture in the background. And then I'm just going ahead and resizing this one. I wanted to make sure the gaps in between all of the widgets are kind of like around the same height. And then I'm choosing the same white that I did for the first widget. I didn't want to completely overlap the plant because these widgets are transparent, so I wanted everything to be kind of readable. So I'm just putting one on top of the plant. And this gold was a little bit too dark for me, so I went ahead and adjusted the color. To a more neutral color great and so those are our widget windows and so now I wanted to put like a picture in the center as a focal point so I decided to do this one and I cropped it so that the focus is on the canvas and the plant and there's not all this white space and then I went ahead and resized it so that it fit inside of this widget and I went ahead and centered the picture. And then I wanted to put some text on that canvas. So I am adding text here and I wanted to say bloom where you are planted. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into the canvas so it looks like it's on the canvas. Um, and I wanted a more refined text font. So I liked this one. And so I chose that one and then I wanted the color to match um, something from the color palette already. So I went ahead and chose one um, that Canva extracted from the picture. And then now I'm just going ahead and adding um, titles to all of the widgets. And so I went with a different font. I went with this one and I adjusted the size and then Again, I went for a color that was already in the color palette. Um, 
And then I wanted the titles to stand out. So I went ahead and added a shadow, but I'm gonna change the default shadow color to black to make it pop a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bigger so you can see it and then center that right there in the middle of the widget. And then I'm just gonna copy this and make multiple titles so that each of my widgets has one. So this one will be notes. I keep a lot of notes on my desktop. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go here. And I made that one the same white as the widget above it. This one will be pending. And then oh, I change the color to the same like dusty rose of the widget next to it. And then this one will be uh, current and ongoing like projects that I'm working on. Awesome. So yeah, that's how I want my desktop to look. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download and then download. And it's downloading right now. And then that's what it'll look like. So let's close out of this, minimize this. And then we're gonna go to system preferences and desktop, desktop and screensaver. And then I'm gonna go to downloads and then click on the picture that I just downloaded there. And it's now the desktop. So now I wanna add um, the widget. So there's this app called Stickies, which is basically like post-it notes for your desktop. So I went ahead and chose gray and then I'm gonna make it translucent so you can see behind it. Um, so it kind of matches the widgets and I'm gonna just add it here in the notes and you could literally type whatever you want, um, whatever you want in these notes and just leave it on your desktop for like easy access or quick reference. So now I want the notes app so I can add lists to it. So I'm just gonna um, open a blank note and then change the window so that you don't see all of my other notes <laughs> um, and shrink that down. And then I'm just gonna keep that here under lists. Um, and then you could literally do whatever you want in notes. Notes is such a great app. So I'm just gonna add like a bulleted list, um, but really you could do a checklist or a to-do list or anything. I'm just gonna say, let's do video ideas um, and then desk desktop um, wallpaper for this video. So yeah, you could just keep your notes there. Um, I'm gonna organize my pending documents in this pending widget. And then I'm gonna organize my ongoing projects um, in, this, in this widget so that they're there. And then I actually want to change the folder icon. So um, I'm going to go back into Canva. <laughs> and then now I'm going to click on their logo template. And then I'm going to go into elements. Uh, elements. And then I'm going to search plant so that it goes with the rest of my wallpaper. And then I'm just gonna scroll down until I find a plant that I like. And I ended up choosing this one. So I'm just gonna make it fill the entire canvas as much as I can. And then I'm gonna download it as a PNG. So with a transparent background. So I'm gonna click that, click download, let it download. And then I'm gonna, like select it, draw a box around it. And then I'm gonna copy by hitting Command C on my Mac. And then I'm gonna go over, let's minimize this. And then I'm gonna go over to the folder and then go to get info. And then I'm gonna click on the folder icon and hit com Command V on my Mac. And then that pastes the picture and voila, you have the plant icon. 
And honestly, yeah, um, you can really do this with anything. It doesn't have to be plants. I saw some really cute tie-dye backgrounds, and they used, like, sunset clouds as their icons. Or I saw someone do the beach, and they did, like, seashells as their icons. So really, like, make this your own and, like, do the widgets however you want and to fit your lifestyle and whatever you need. Um, and, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and as always, keep an eye out for our new videos on Kristen and Katrina. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.